Millstone Mayhem, attempt number two, and this time I start from the continue barrel. Thank you very much. So now we got this TNT barrel, which once again I'm gonna waste on a stupid snake. And okay, now I go down here, grab the tire. I'm gonna try getting up this platform this time. Okay, boing, boing, yeah, no! Boing, boing, yeah! You have to hit it on the way down. And oh, Winky was up there! Well, this would have helped jumping above all those millstones. Come on, oh, there's this DK barrel down there. I just gotta get off Winky, throw the barrel. Hi, Diddy, how are you doing? And get back up on Winky. And okay, now I'm just gonna run away because I don't want to be taking any nuts to the face. Okay, now... Oh, yeah! Oh, that was just beautiful. That was perfect. I couldn't have done it better if I tried. And if... Can I can just... Yeah! Now can I jump over... Hmm, doesn't look like it. Oh! Wow, well, I think you were meant to barrel roll through all these snakes. But, uh, of course, having Winky prevents that. And oh, we got this one. Oh! Thought I was gonna jump on the tire! Well... That sucked, but at least we're done with this level from hell and we're never going to return here again. And before we fight the boss, we're going to get a few nuggets of wisdom from Cranky himself. Okay, so did you leave all your good one-liners in your other pants, old man? Oh, that's right, you don't wear pants! And okay, this one's a good one with a two-frame walk. Are sprites used to change size for no apparent reason? I don't know if it's supposed to refer to a common glitch in really old games, because although I'm really, really old to be doing LPs, I still have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> And, okay, we have... Well, I've never seen anything like it. Like what? This dude's totally batshit insane. Enjoy this demo while you can. Can't last much longer. Well, how about the second half of the game and two sequels? Yeah, it won't last much longer, alright. And he gives me advice on Reptile Rumble, which is in the first world. Once again, remember, in Mario 3, that letter from the princess that tells you how to get the whistle in World 2, and she tells you after you're done with, like, World 3 or 4? Alright, so now it's time to fight the boss, which is called Master Neki. Not just Neki, that's a regular enemy. This is Master Neki. And, yeah, from experience, don't try to hit it the first time, because it's... Uh, for some reason, I always get hit the first time if I try to attack it. And that's basically all its pattern is. Throw a nut, get hit. Throw a nut, get hit. And die. Since he, I did it enough time. So yeah, this boss was absolutely pathetic. As long as you can avoid its opening attack, it's just ridiculously easy. So with Master Nikki down, we are heading down into Vine Valley, level one vulture culture. And this is a mini Nikki, and this is what I was referring to, a regular Nikki. That guy there was Master Nikki because, of course, it was much larger than a regular Nikki. And okay, these Nikkis are going to throw coconuts. And now, okay, there's this kid. Uh oh, I need to use the tire to get up to this bonus here. So let's see what awaits us. Okay, a chance at redemption after failing to spell rare. I believe I can spell Kong, and I get an Espresso token as a prize. Well, I'm not gonna spit on that. And with that, we are going back to this area. I believe we have skipped a small portion of the, of the level, and good thing that Diddy can hold barrels in front of himself, because you just use that as a shield against uh, Nikki's nuts. And okay, now you you have to keep right down during most of those jumps that involve neckies or coming off of barrels. And this this one here is well, those aren't claptraps that die after one shot. They just give you more and more bananas 
until eventually they go faster and faster and faster. Eventually they give you like 10 bananas each when they go really, really fast. And if you manage to hit both like 10 times, I believe you win, which is something I've never done before. So screw the clap traps. I'm going to continue on with the game instead. And okay, now we got another one of those mini neckies. Choke on your nuts! Okay, got the O here. So, okay, once again, we gotta keep right down to jump on the neckies. And oh, yeah, there was, there was no problem. There was no bonus here, I believe. Okay, still alive. Not anymore. So, okay, now we're complicating things a little. Gotta come out of uh, the barrel at the correct time, at the correct angle, while the, while the neck is at the correct spot. And now we're throwing zingers into it. Fun! I love zingers. Not! And now, gotta try to kill that necky without getting hit, which was easier said than done because it kept throwing those things in all directions. And yeah, great example of why video game physics don't always work. Nintendo, Nintendo logic at its finest, folks. And we got the N here, and a few bananas, nothing more. Okay, red zingers, two of them. That's done. Okay, two. Oh, wow, I, I wanted the G so much that I catapulted myself out early. Well, at least I beat this level. It was rather easy, I gotta say. Treetop Town now! And there's a bonus right at the entrance, but you gotta bounce on that beaver here to do it, and that was actually rather close. And now I need to... Oh, I, did, I didn't jump fast enough! I needed to spell out con to get something, a token of life, something. But I couldn't even get the first letter right. And now... Gotta be patient here! Okay, and I almost thought for a second that I wouldn't make it. Okay, now you're shooting from barrel to barrel, just... Nothing forces you to go this fast. But if you can keep the tempo, no problem there. More beavers, and now... Okay, now we the barrels are racing against the camera. Fun. I love it when you don't even see where you're going. More freaking beavers! What is this, Sinnoh? And now we are still racing the camera as those barrels go diagonally. And, well, that was it. We're already halfway through. Okay, so now we got... Okay, I get it. I gotta catapult myself from here to get the O. And there's a DK barrel. Don't need it. Bye-bye, critter. Thank you very much. And... <gasps> wow! This was the unholy cheapness! Did you just see that? I, ha I actually had to pay attention to where the next barrel was before I jumped into this one. So, okay, let's try this again, hopefully with less failure. And, alright, now we've done this, and I get the feeling we're gonna have to do a lot more of it until the level ends. Exactly, and now, see that lone banana down there? There's a bonus there. So, let's take a look at what this bonus has to offer. Bananas! And an N, which we're probably not gonna get. Nope. Because I needed a shot straight up from the middle of the screen, which wasn't gonna happen. Okay, more of these unholy- No! Damn it. I hate this place. Okay. Let's try this again. And yeah, don't have much to say because I'm so freaking frustrated right now. Okay, let's not fail. Whoa! That was a little borderline here. Now, okay, this is good. Well, let's return into that bonus. Doesn't cost a thing. And we're gonna make a few bananas, which could help when it comes to making more lives. Even though my stay in the bonus wasn't so long. Alright, is there anything I need to know? Doesn't look like it. Now I'm seeing this, and okay, now one more. No! Oh, wow! I, I, I'm actually given a mulligan here! 
Well, I'm just going to complete this part, and I'm going to call it quits for today. Bye!